regroup. That was awful. No. I want to go home. I want to go home too. Right? I hope we all find our way home. If I get my hands on you, I'm going to wring your neck. Freak! Look at me. Hey, I don't want to fight. What? Dude, no. I don't need your fat ass getting in the way. Damn. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Then we better figure out how to get out of here. And fast. Like, totally me. <laughs> like, you get for trying to bite me.
Homo sapien. It's been a while. Glad to see you, Jason. My mechanical voice box isn't functioning properly. I apologize for my odd voice. I understand. Unfortunate that you've only seen me as a person a few times when you were younger. When you were with my sister. I remember Iris taking care of me. She was like a mother. What happened to her? It's been... tough. Not being able to see Iris. Witnessing her last stand against the what was... tragic. I'm sorry to hear that. Surprised at the fact I'm still alive. Now I sit here, in a jar of what's left of me. Everything I have experienced. Gunfights. Zombies. The Red Division. The Red Ship Source. So many survivors. Of the cannibalism strike. Left in despair. I was one of them. How did you end up in there? Curious to hear how I got here. Sit back and relax. My journey to what led me here today. All began with a theft I did. A necklace that changed my life from a scavenger to a brave human being. This is my story, of how I survived, the source. I needed to find a different way out. It was guaranteed that more Red Division troops were up ahead. I didn't know why they were after me for this necklace. From my eyes, it looked very valuable. Oh! 